Okay, I'm on gold right now here, guys and gals. Let's take a look at what we're trying to do here. Uh, this is a trend box that we have out to all you members. And the simple methodology is what we're trying to do is the trend boxes turn red and they turn green. If they turn red, that means we have a sell bias. If they turn green, that means we have a buy bias. Now what we want to try to do is we want to try and sell and buy retracements in the direction of that bias. So if we have a sell bias, we want to give above 90% on our oscillator below. And if we get if we have a buy bias, we want to get below 10% on the oscillator below. And then we want to look for a red pull-in bar or a green pull-in bar, meaning positive or negative market delta to confirm the entry. Stops will be two ticks above the swing high or swing low. So let's take a look at uh, yesterday's and today's, and we'll get going in today's trading. Okay, so what we want to do, this is the, uh, the, uh, a nine Rinko bar. This is my trend filter, a nine Rinko bar that uses a large 25 Rinko bar. So I have a nine using a large 25 for trend. So when you see these boxes form on the nine, they're actually looking at the trend of the 25, a very larger, I mean, a much larger time frame. So we're getting a really good concept of trend with this in all markets. So when you put this on your own indicators, make sure we have a 25 setting on the trend box. And you can put it on any lower time frame. You can put it on the 9, as shown here. You can put it on the 5. You can put it on the 3, which I'll show you in a second. The smaller time frame you get, the more trades you're going to get on a retracement with overall large time frame trend context. So if we're in a downtrend on, on a large time frame, we can, we can use any smaller time frame to fire in the trade. So let's take a look at yesterday. Um, and one thing I want to go over uh, when you replay these videos is that the size of the bars mean a lot. Why? Because I have a trend filter built into my larger time frames or any time frame at all to say to uh, any time frame that prints. So when you see these larger time frames print over top of a smaller time frame like this, the width of the bar is very important. It's very, very, very important. Okay? So what you want to do is you want to look at the size of the bar. Big, giant, wide bars, the width of them are consolidation or reversals. Thin bars... Let me show you what a thin bar looks like. A thin bar, meaning there's speed coming in the market. So yesterday, you can tell if you are trading gold, you are southbound on the Greyhound. The bias was down. The moving averages were down. Your trend box was down all morning off the large time frame. You had a big reversal box to start off the morning right around 930. And look at that small, thin box that followed the big trend box, that small, thin width box. That means there's speed in the market, meaning speed, meaning there's the path of least resistance is below us, meaning we're looking for retracement trading. So on this large time frame, right there, that exact bar, because of this down here, we got above 90%, is the most ideal spot, according to my trend filter, to get short the market. And it's reading a larger time frame chart, a much, much, much larger time frame chart. So this spot right there is your most optimal place to go short the market on that exact bar. Once it closes red or negative market delta, that's your entry. Stop loss is two ticks above the swing high, and then we get rolling. Here's another big bar, big consolidation bar. Look at the width. This means we're in a consolidation continuation pattern. If you see this big box form followed by a thin width bar, that means speed's coming in the bar market. They're trying to mark the market down. Once they mark the market down, you're looking for the first sell retracement. You try to get another sell retracement. So what we're trying to do, guys and gals, is we are trying to look for buy and sell retracements with overall larger trend of the overall market that we're trading. So these are very large time frames. So we can actually go down to a real small time frame and still trade the large time frames because we have large time frame contacts or trend. So if you look, here is the next cell setup. This is yesterday. We're going to today's, and I'm going to show you smaller time frames. So watch how I match this up. 
right there is your trend boxes speed are coming down speed look at the speed 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 bar speed bar speed bar speed bar speed bars there's your retracement there's your negative market delta right there is above 90 percent calls the ultimate high yesterday for a huge run on that gold then we come down for a wave five get your retracement we're above 90 percent again and it calls the exact bar entry there too so if we look at um larger time frame chart so that's a large time frame chart okay it's just reading a 25 into this in case is a this is a um a nine but you can go into other you can go to smaller time frame still this smacks you right in the face if you can't see the retraces on here i don't know what to tell you because it hits you right in the head because if you look at this the whole session trading right now the bias is down i mean it's just the trend box is really wake you up this is a five sim rank it's a much smaller time frame than the nine here's a five but i'm still using a 25 parameter because i want overall large trend so now my mind's right my mind's right as a trader now what i know is i know i got a big trend box i mean a big reversal box remember the, when those bars are nice and big and thick like that that's typically a reversal in the market if they're nice and wide and thin it's a consolidation waiting for either a continuation or a reversal also. So what we're looking for is we know when that box gets nice and big and thick, we know that's a possible reversal. So what do we want to do? We want to get into these markets and look for a continuation. Now I got to put the moving average on here, um, which I'll do. Uh, the moving average is going here also, but um, you should be going with the overall large trend moving average uh, because a trend box will call it. So there's your big big trend box that says go short so what we want to try to do then is we want to try to get the first retracement now symmetry dots add a lot of power to the system now I've had we've had symmetry dots for quite some time in the room years and years and years they're very effective now because what they do is they allow us to find natural support and resistance when I get a full retracement so now I got a full retracement it stops right on my symmetry how beautiful is that thank you for coming to work stops right on my symmetry dots I can use both sides of symmetry I use red for resistance and downtrends and blue for break retest trades and downtrends. So now I got a really good trading system going on now. Now I know I'm in a downtrend. There's your full retracement. It's above 90%. There's your first red bar reversal calls the exact high. We get another one. Another one comes in this morning. Here we go again. Right above gets about right at 90%. And we get another one that fires off right at a red, I mean a negative market delta calls a high again. We get a third one right in a row. Gets a this is a five Simrico, gets above 90%. We come up here and we're looking for a, a negative market delta, calls the exact high of the bar. There we go again. This is a beautiful setup. Calls another one right in a row. Here's another one. Hit symmetry dots. When you come in within two ticks of symmetry, you have major resistance. And it gets above 90%. We have a negative market delta, calls the exact bar high again. So what I'm saying is, guys, and then we come into a big consolidation here. We're going to wait for speed bars to either pop us back up because right now, see, I'm in consolidation. So now I got a big consolidation box that's still forming. I'm in between symmetry right now. I got the highs and lows of symmetry. If I get outside of symmetry to the downside with the speed bar, I'm going to look for the first retracement again above 90%, negative market delta go. If I get close above symmetry with the speed bar, then I may have a, a corrective wave. I'm going to look for a retest above below 10%. And get a positive market delta all right so the width of the bars mean a lot they really 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 mean a lot when, when you look at this so on a five sim yesterday same thing i mean just look at all these sell signals this is on the five sim rico sell 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 all above 90 percent look how it gets your mind right this thing really gets your mind right because what you're looking at is you're looking over all big trend of the market so from 9 30 in the morning all the way until 12 o'clock you should have been by a short gold and if you were taking longs on gold then you are wrong you're totally going against large trend and that's where traders get screwed up they counter trend trade these markets so much that they think they can buy the exact low sell the exact high what we do is we we try to short low and buy lower we try to buy high and sell higher what does that mean novice traders always say I buy low sell high that's exactly what you don't want to do because you're counter trend trading the market most of the time. 
What we're doing, since we're in a trend box down, we're looking for what? <clears throat> we're trying to short low here, buy lower, short low, buy lower, short low, buy lower. That's what the trend boxes are designed to do. They do exactly what the majority of the public does not do. When I was a guest speaker at the Las Vegas trade show, the majority of traders are counter trend traders. There's over almost 6,000 traders around the world. The majority that I talked to, and when I was a speaker out there, the majority try to catch the low and high, and that's why they're totally wrong. You cannot outsmart the market. What you can do is you can let order flow dictate where you get in and out of these markets, and that's what we try to do. Let the trend filter, you get small trend boxes, speed in the market, get those retracements. So that's what we essentially are trying to do as traders. We're looking for retracements with overall large trends.